So White Law versus Fox on the draws. We are seconds from faceoff here. Our officials tonight and all-star ECAC crew, Dan Murphy and Mike Jones are the referees. Eric Gello and Chris Woodworth will work the lines. They are up, they are loud. It is Plattsburgh, it is Oswego for the SUNYAC Championship for the 12th time overall in these two teams' storied history. Let's go Lakers chant right off the bat. McConney goes D to D with Josepher who gives it right back to McConney. He'll look on up, play it off the boards, deflected in past Nick Jensen who is playing defense. He's played the entire second half of the season on defense paired with Mike Grace. Dylan Fox in behind the net. Plays it around to Jensen once again. He tried to flip it out, didn't work. Whitelaw held it for the moment. Jensen has it again. He takes a stiff jolt from Moody. Grace sends it on up as he took a hit from Rodriguez. Lakers throwing the body early. Down deep to get it is McConney. Changes it for Plattsburgh just 40 seconds in. Played up through the middle. Rodriguez lost it in his boots. He'll have to go for it again. He got some help from Josepher who's bothered from behind. He finally comes away with it. Josepher just wants to hit the line, send it in. Moody's going to beat Puglisi down there for it. Tried to send it in wet behind the net. Muse is in there to step into his check. That was Gorman, but it came out to center. Flipped off the boards and down deep. Matt Cadeau gets his first touch up on the puck. Reutman plays it around. Emmerling, the Suniac Rookie of the Year, plays it to the point. It's going to be held. This is Ferris with a wrister. That one went wide of the net. Tim Carr, the pinch to hold. He couldn't get it deep, though. Gorman bothered him, and Reutman's going to come away with it. Reutman gives it off to Emmerling. Emmerling looks and sends it on into the corner. Balesta is in deep to forecheck. He bothered Carr enough to make him cough it up. Tim Carr gets it back again. Farnan now watching him. Took him down to the ice, but Ferris helps out. Ferris gives it off to Ayat. Ayat sends it off the boards. Neat little pass to Muse. Muse into Ayat, and the stop is made by Cadeau, who doesn't know where it is, but it's not in the net. Well, you said it, Chris, right off the bat. Oswego comes away, and they are hitting all over the ice, just playing the body, and what a quick little pass here from Muse. Take a look, just get it right over to Ayat. Quick shot, tries to go five hole, but Cadeau, very quick on the five hole, gets down real quickly and closes up the legs. And so the Lakers with the first good scoring chance of the evening. That replay and all our replays tonight are brought to you by Wonton House and Wan Zone Cal Zones. It's going to be icing here uh, as Gert Sackets gets to the hash. So, Brian, we see the Lakers really throwing the body around early. That's something that we see Plattsburgh like to do a lot. Lakers looking to shove it back in their face a little here. Yeah, and it's a little bit of a little bit of payback for, for the Lakers over Plattsburgh. They haven't necessarily played tough against them early on in the two games that they matched up against them but they managed to come out come out here they're trying to play physical trying to get trying to get Plattsburgh off of their game a little bit just with a little Line, body position Linebrock got that one out in front but it popped in behind the net back to him he'll do battle Nick Jensen comes away with it he looks up and flips it high Reve gloves it down went down no call there despite 3,000 unhappy fans and or did we get a call, Brian? Let's see. What's this? No, it looks like it be? looks like they're just calling a hand pass a real pass. quick. You're right. Which is not going to sit lightly with these fans here. And so the face off to the right of Andrew Hare. Plattsburgh has won the last three matchups between these two teams. The two regular season games this season and the SUNYAC championship, which was right here on this ice about a year ago. Brenton's knocked off the puck. Gert Sackis. Played it around, Puglisi held the line for now as that one was deflected and went back out of play and so the whistle. So again, Plattsburgh's won three in a row. They are three one and one in the last five. Before that, the Lakers won five in a row in this rivalry. It has been a rivalry of streaks and right now it's all Cardinals. Radissa battles on the draw. He tried to get it in deep. It didn't work out as McConney took him out. Now it's poked in behind the net. And, whoa, Hare had to be careful as the net gets popped off. A little bit of miscommunication between Josepher and Hare there. That's a good quick play, though. Right off the bat, Cassidy just coming hard to the net. And that's what they're going to need to do on Andrew Hare. They're going to need to pressure him. And Brenton coming in hard. Radissa, everybody crashing the net is going to what Plattsburgh is going to want to do. Andrew Hare has shown some trouble handling pressure in front of that crease, but... He stood tall on that one, and good signs from him early. And Brian, what a game he had last week against Buffalo State. Gave up two goals, yes, but made at least two or three fine grade-A saves. And you take another look at this play. He just covers it up quick, 
and just holds on, which is really, really good for him early and good for the Lakers to see early. Once again, that replay sponsored by Wonton House and Juan Zones, Cal Zones. Chris Carr to chase after this one. He'll beat the icing out. Bad, battled by Reutemann. Batum carries on, but lost it. Redissa sends it off the boards. Cassidy on the backhand gets it out to center. Jesse McConney wanted Josepher, but missed the pass. Puglisi, who scored a goal on this ice in the first semester, his second career goal for Plattsburgh. And he's got the puck again in behind the net. Gave it around to his D-mate, rather, Reutemann. Cassidy sent it up ahead. Redissa hits the line, and he would like to get to the bench, so he will do so. 